Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Learn Smart Coding. This is continuation of the API management. This is part 6. In this video, what we are going to see is how to implement the throttling in Azure API management. Okay, so I have opened up my API management that I have already created. And if I come to APIs and select my APIs, and what we are going to do is I'm going to apply the throttling to one of the API. Okay, the policy that we are going to choose is the API level. The scope is not at the global level, it's not at the product level, it's at the API level. So I'm going to choose the get all category API. And then, and when you choose this API, if you go to the inbound policies, see inbound policies and backend policies. So basically go to the policies and then uh, this is the inbound. So what you have to do is select the inbound, go to snippet. And here what we are going to do is rate limit. Okay, so let's quickly search for that rate limit. So you see this says set usage quota per key. That is one kind of API. And here what we are going to do is uh, the limit the rate call per key. Limit call rate per subscription, right? So let's go and choose this one. So you see this automatically this, this appeared. And basically what we are going to do is rate limit by key. So uh, instead of doing a rate limit by key, let's do a rate limit. And then the calls will be the five calls, okay? Renewal period is seconds, which is like five seconds. Okay. Um, and then you can remove this. We don't need this counter key. So that was for the different policy. So now you have added this one and gonna gonna save, click on save. All right, let's correct this. Click on save. The policy has been saved. Okay, so this is specific to this policy. So let's go to the testing and click on this one. Take this URL. Let's go back to Postman and here I'm going to replace this URL. Okay, I'm going to hit on send. You see this, I got the response. So rate limit we have set to 5. So I'm going to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's it. So within 5 seconds, I got hit more than 5 times. So that's why it got 429 too many requests. So once the renewal period, which is like five seconds that I have set, so it has to wait at least for that time. And then after that, if you wait for, see now try again in 35 seconds. So basically two mini requests came. We need to wait for like 35 seconds based on the configuration that we did. And then if after that, if you hit send, it will come. So let's gonna, I'm gonna pause that for a second. Okay, okay, so let's try now. All right, so after I wait for a certain time, it is giving me response. Okay, so that is how this policy works. So because of the rate limit policy that we have set, it is uh, restricting the calls that is coming simultaneously by the same person. So many requests, if it's coming, it is limiting the call. All right, that's how this works. And you know how to apply this throttling in the Azure API management APIs. And uh, let's talk about how to implement the caching policies in the next demo. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.